I say I come out and I flash out, do not make me come in spaz I'll get that bang and then I catch out, grab that heart Go away, I can't be taking no food, gay rocks running laps Until I pass out different beats, I choose to smash up, beat it up Mini back out, nothing standing in my way, not shit about you Little bro, come down when I zone in, then you zone down, bring it back On the rebound, I'm juiced up, ain't got no Z's now Want it all just like a touchdown, yeah, I'm busting like a crayon Shout out fast, man. of his own. Blocks that punch. You see how he comes over the top with that left hand. Well placed shot there. And this round comes to an end. Good work. I want to see you double up that jab. Okay? I want to see you double up that jab. Not one, but two. Have to keep your distance. Stay away from him. Keep throwing it. Start of round number four, but an interesting fight so far. Hands of stones losing this fight, one round to two. But keep in mind, the one round that he won, he scored a knockdown. You well, know, in golf, they say you have to have a short memory. In boxing, sometimes a long memory. He must remember he can hurt him. He can get back in this. Vicious is doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Solid uppercut. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Hands of Stone. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. You gotta see that coming, champ. Let's go. You gotta see that. Vicious is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Body shot, left hand. Scored well up top. Good smooth work by Hands of Stone. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Come on, kid, focus. Right hand over the top. He counters back after denying his opponent's shot. Hands of Stone's taken a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times. It's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands. Well, one place I can tell you where not to put it, in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left, outside that right hand. And that's the end of round four. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. This is scoring with that right hand. Nice jab there by Hands of Stone. Nice! You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. What an impactful left hand by Hands of Stone. Look at this swarming attack. Vicious is taking a barrage. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Super three-punch combination by Hands. What a big shot. 
How is this gonna go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! That's it, the fight.